Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas is still packing up the buses and shipping the illegals off to Washington, D.C. So he started doing this um, a few weeks ago, and he has since sent more buses there. I'm going to go ahead and play this audio for you. If they are willing, if the immigrants are willing to get on the bus um, voluntarily, he can uh, uh, facilitate that uh, transportation to either D.C. Or, or other states for that matter. But he cannot force them. Otherwise, I mean, that would be kidnapping and uh, that would be a violation of, uh, of the Fourth Amendment. So I don't see the governor doing that forcefully. So that's an interesting that's interesting insight in that. Some would argue, well, that's Governor Abbott facilitating uh, the, the the desires of illegal immigrants. If, if this is something they have to want and volunteer for, then he's facilitating this transfer of illegal immigration. Others would say, well, he can't force them out of the country because of that lack of power. What is the power of a state to enforce immigration laws, Peter? Um, the, the power of the state is limited because uh, the federal law supersedes uh, the state law. If the federal government requires the state to assist in enforcing the laws, uh, that would be a different matter. Uh, but federal law actually does supersede the state law, and immigration law is federal law. Uh, what's happening right now, we have the federal government failing completely to enforce uh, uh, immigration laws, and they are promoting chaos and lawlessness at the border. Uh, what the states can do... Um, when immigrants move into their states, so they have the authority to check their, pa their papers or status if they apply for certain benefits within the state. Uh, they can, uh, once they detain uh, an illegal who has committed a crime within a certain state, they can hold them and notify ICE to pick them up and remove them or, uh, you know, process them for removal. Okay. So he's still doing this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I bet every dime in my wallet they're not doing that to the illegals that are coming from Ukraine and Russia. You know, they're told to cut all the red tape and let them through. So six buses showed up with asylum seekers in D.C. since last week. Republican Governor Greg Abbott's office confirmed Monday the latest bus arrived Sunday night, hours after the fifth bus rolled into the nation's capital. As with previous transports, the migrants were dropped off within a site of the U.S. Capitol near a building that houses the D.C. Um, bureaus. So that's so they were like probably a block or two away from the U.S. Capitol. That's where they're being dropped off. It is unclear how many immigrants have been bused to D.C. The first bus, which arrived um, on April 13th, carried 24 migrants, while the second bus carried 14. The third bus which arrived Friday, reportedly had around 30 migrants on board, while the fourth bus arriving Saturday had fewer than 10. Abbott's office has been slow to release exact numbers and has either declined to respond to requests for information about future transports or refer to them to the Texas Division of Emergency Management. Now, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line, we know eventually where they're going to put these folks. You folks down in D.C., get ready, because you're going to see these folks right by you. <laughs> you know, especially if you're in the Black community, you know where they're coming. So uh, the immigrants must volunteer to get on the buses as they are legally allowed to travel anywhere in the United States since they have cleared the first hurdle to seek asylum. Abbott announced that he would send immigrants from Texas to D.C. during April 6 press conference announcing measures the lone state would take to secure the borders. The measures are meant to address the unending wave of immigrants already arriving 
at the Texas-Mexico border with more expected when Title 42 health policy ends on May 23rd. The plan to end the policy, which allows a summary deportation of migrants due to, you know, the pandemic, has drawn anger from Republicans and skepticism from Democrats, another prominent member of whom joined the chorus against winding down the policy on Monday. Unless we have a well-thought-out plan, I think it is something that should be revised and perhaps delayed. This is Senator Gary Peters of Michigan, the chairman of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, as well as Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, according to The Hill. In the meantime, Abbott, who is running for re-election for governor, now you know why he's doing it. And okay, <laughs> now you know why he's doing it. He's doing it because he's trying to win the election. And the best way to win is to, you know, act, act like you got a lot of disdain for the immigrants. So, you know, you know why he's doing it now. Abbott, who is running for re-election as governor, is not the only Texas politician to volunteer to transport immigrants to the nation capital. So I'd love to get them on the bus to DC and let them see in the Capitol what we're getting firsthand. This is Mayor Don McLaughlin. This is what he said on March 31st. So I guess he's gonna keep the buses going. I mean, the midterms aren't until what, November? So I guess for the spring and summer and all the way into the fall, he's going to keep these buses coming into D.C. It may not seem like a lot now, but it will add up sooner or later. You know, I mean, this is crazy, the things that are going on in this country. And it is very obvious that, you know, if you come from Ukraine or Russia, you don't have to worry about getting bussed anywhere. <laughs> They're going to let you just go across the border and treat you humanely. But if you don't come from those locations like these folks on the bus, if you don't come from Ukraine or Russia and you show up at the border, then you get stuffed on a bus and shipped over to D.C. And in these cases, I have yet to see one Ukrainian or Russian come off of these buses. The few pictures that I was able to look at, these are all South Americans. All of them come from some location out of South America. But I'm not surprised, you know, but at the end of the day, it is going to be the people in D.C. that will be inconvenienced with this problem. But, you know, I know why he's doing it. You know, uh, the Democrats have always want to relax the rules whenever they get in office and when it comes down to immigrants. So, hey, since they love immigrants this much, let the immigrants vote for them during the midterms. Let the Ukrainians vote. Let the Russians vote. Let the Asians vote for them. Uh, LGBTQ, you know, everybody that they did for, those are the people they need to turn to for votes. Why? Are they spending $30 million to pander to Black voters? I'm just saying. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.